Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series where today we are of course still playing as the most serene Republic of Amalfi with our now aging Prince Mayor Rodolf the Ill Ruler and my my how some things have changed on this map. I didn't really pay that much attention to it in the last episode but uh, I'm a little scared about this. It appears that the Byzantines have started moving northward and that is, oh boy, that's disconcerting. Anytime the Byzantines get bigger, that makes me worry for my future, considering well, they got territory right all in there. Also, France seemed to have taken more of uh, this area. I remember them only having, I think, one county over here. Now they have three, so good on you, France. Whole Aquitanian uh, revolt is still going on. The poor Mezwarid is still split up in revolts, which is surprising. I would have thought that the Mezwarid revolt would have won by now. I mean... I actually think that is all that's left of the Mezwarid army, a mere 130 versus 930. You'd think they'd have won by now, but I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, it's going to go slowly for them, I guess. But yes, for us though today, we are at war with Spoleto. And I think it's going to go swimmingly for us as we outnumber them two to one in that. Oh boy, that's a good thing. Now right now we are sieging out the war goal. We are going to be taking this particular county because, well, I've laid a fake claim onto it. And once we do that, I actually think I'm going to combine my army together and go crush our enemy. Uh, mainly because I kind of actually want to help Tuscany for some strange reason. I kind of want to help them out. And I think if we get our whole combined army together, smash them good, and then go back to sieging their territory, it'll be nice. It'll give Tuscany a chance to get back on their feet. And, of course, it gives us some extra war score. So let us... Ooh, actually, before we do that, I wanted to check a few things. First, the Republic. Yes, excellent. My uncle is still uh, the current next in line for the Doge. Though, oh dear God, the Orso family is catching up, which is worrisome. We need to keep an eye on that. I'll hold off on adding more campaign funds for now. But still. But still. Oh yeah, he has Bari, doesn't he? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to do... Oh, actually, I did want to talk about one thing. I finally, it freaking clicked as to why these guys are going to be passing their territories to an heir outside of our family. I forget the name of the commenter on the last video, but they finally said it, and it knocked the marbles loose in my brain. And yes, it's because... They hold a city rather than a barony. Normally for nobles, the barony is the top thing for their county. But since I conquered the cities first and the city became the high holding of the county, the, the city changes hands by election. So it's always a different Lord Mayor. And that's why we are going to have a different heir than our own kid. Whereas Benevento, where I gave to... Oh no, not, not that one. I gave the barony of Benevento to my one son, my second youngest son, I believe. And he is actually going to be passing it down to his son because it's a proper landed barony. So his kid will take it on because it's... Yeah, it's, it's a barony title. The city titles go to a next elected Lord Mayor. The baronies go to the next in line. And so that's our problem with both Foggia and Bari. If I would have done the barony, they would have been good. Oh, I wish I would have done that now. But oh well, oh well. We'll just have to take these counties back somehow. I mean, we can always revoke people's titles and... Uh, <laughs> Just do it that way, which I'm kind of tempted to. Which actually, that reminds me, I was going to check on something. Can we make the barony the high sort of title for the area again? Because it kind of sucks that I can't hand over entire counties to my kids. I can only hold hand over the baronies to them. Which is somewhat problematic for my future plans. Because <laughs> I kind of... I kind of want to uh, have my kids holding many multiple counties so that my family can spread 
but sadly I can only give away baronies it would appear. So if any of you know a way for me to actually raise the barony back to the high title for the county, then, I mean, maybe we're good. Maybe. Ooh, ooh. I just thought about this. What if I give them the barony first and then give them the county? Will they keep it in, in total then? I don't know. You guys discuss it in the chat. Give me some tips because I would love it. And let's unpause and actually get back to our war because it's... Oh, God, the war is probably going to take a while. But yes, let us... Uh, Check on this. We have another victory, one more siege to finish, and then... Oh, Tuscany, you're boned. <laughs> I was hoping I could save their army, but no. There go the Tuscan armies. So sad. So sad indeed. Well, still, let's help them out. Once we have this uh, last bishopric finished up, we'll be good to go. Hey, and we built that merchant enclave. Lovely. Excellent. More money for me. Mwahaha! <laughs> We're now making an income of plus 9.4. Ooh, the papal armies are on the move. Ooh, they are at war. Interesting. Papal du jour holding war over Lugnan? Interesting. Oh no! Oh no! I have a new heir! Oh crap, there goes our campaign fund. Damn it! <laughs> okay, Lord Mayor Taino of Bari has inherited the Grand City of Bari and other titles from Lord Mayor Grundo of Bari. Damn it, Uncle, how did you die? You're younger than me by ten ye- Oh. Oh my, he was ill, depressed, and a drunkard. Oh, that's not a good combination. Oh boy. No wonder he died. Well, that is unfortunate. So, ha. Well, we lost Bari. <laughs> okay, pause. Pause. Yeah, we lost Bari. I am so going to usurp your title. <laughs> I'm going to take it right from under you. It'll be glorious. A glorious day. But okay, who is our new... Oh, my other uncle at 47. His opinion of me is not good. And he has a... Title of the Barony of Conver... Conversano? No. Oh. I put family in the Barony there? I had not realized this. <laughs> okay, well that's good. So I still have family in Bari. Excellent, excellent. And he is my uncle. What is his position? Damn it, the Orsos are up on top now. Ugh, why? Why is he up on top? He may be older, which adds a lot of points, but my family is so much richer. <laughs> so this 400 in the campaign fund is uh, not going to cut it. Uh, we're going to have to add in more. Not now, though. Not now. We have a war to focus on, and it's going to take probably, oh boy, maybe 100, maybe 200 to get him up to being past the Orso family. Which is unfortunate because I re I, I don't want to spend it right now because we are at war and war is expensive. So just in case I have to hire more mercenaries, we're gonna have to hold off. We may actually end up losing our republic if we die. Oh god, please don't die. Please don't Oh god, screw it. No, I'm adding the money. I'm adding the money. <laughs> I wanna be safe. Yes, there we go. Five hundred, and we are now just just above them. Oh, God, that's going to change so quickly, isn't it? Okay, well, we won that. Lovely. Your steward comes to see you. One afternoon, he explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would, of course, require sizable monetary invest... Uh, I don't have sizable monetary investments right now. Also, how did our monthly balance go down? Hmm... Screw it, let's organize an expedition. <laughs> okay, so it is a trade expedition. Let's lose the 200 and we can afford it. Oh, Lord. Okay, the ward has spread and planning on doing things. Now we can either... Of course, it will be an honor to bring the clergy with us, which we get back 80 gold. Or they all hate me. Sure, come on, clergymen, have some fun. Okay, dear Prince Mayor Rodolf, I have been informed of your ambitions to establish a new trade route near my lands. Oh, damn it, Venice. 
Um. Does he like me? No, he really doesn't like me. <laughs> of course, Rival Republic. We do have a pact. The oh, we don't have the pact anymore. Wait, I thought we had a pact. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, that is highly unfortunate. Well, screw you. <laughs> I'm not paying him. You kidding me? Hell no. All right. We actually also at that whole same time, we finished this. So move here, move into place, get ready for when this siege finishes, we will go to war and get them. Uh, it is time to set out on the expedition. Hopefully it will yield good, good profits to foreign lands. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, the Pope is really moving. <laughs> so who are they fighting again, actually? I didn't really pay that much attention. Oh. Why are they fighting over that? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Well, not my problem. <laughs> okay, excellent. There we go. We got that. Let's move together and go crush their main army. Yes, and help the Tuscans. Come back. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, there they are. We must catch them. Oh, no, they moved down here. Damn it, hold it. Ah! <laughs> They're moving. They're trying to move. I can't have that. We must chase them down. Also, let's combine our army. What the hell? Okay, so our expedition has uh, ended up in the realm of Emir Bashir. Where's that? Now, how was that going through Venetian lands? The hell, Venice? You're just trying to con me. I'm glad I said screw you. Okay, so what do we give him as a gift? A token of friendship? A strong horse? A chest of quality clothes? A bunch of rare herbs? Or... courtesy? He's getting the horses. <laughs> oh! Oh, look! A uh, young R Rickered. I have a son named Rickered. Interesting. Has finished his education. He is now a brilliant strategist. Ooh, excellent. Lovely. God, I really need to find them some good, suitable wives. <laughs> Keep forgetting to. Uh, what I need to do is just off camera go and uh, marry off all of my family. <laughs> Because I always hate doing it on camera, because I, if normally when I marry people off, I'm literally sitting here for like an hour just scrolling through every option going, ooh, maybe, maybe them. Nah, so that's why I don't usually do it off camera, or on camera, so I really should just go and do that. Okay, so at dinner you notice Amir Bashar, a uh, face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward, shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse him, I am still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. So that's my son. He is okay with me. But he would then like me. Or I could go, I'm hungry too, and dig right in. Well, we're trying to make money, and the better, the more we make these people happy, the more money we get back. So, I'm sorry, my son. I will give you a title or something. Mm, you're already steward. Why do you hate me? Oh yeah, too many, too many, too many held duchies. <laughs> yep, everyone hates me for that. Well, sorry. Gotta, gotta call you out on the whole bad manners. Come on, I just want to fight you. Oh god, we got another thing. We are walking idly around the court. Oh, so what's just that? Oh, title lost in succession, of course. Uh, court of Mir, when you suddenly hear a discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Oh, yes, they're arguing about religion, so this must be stopped. All the clergymen don't like me. Or these heathens must be shown the error of their ways, and I get zealous. Screw you, clergy. I'm trying to make the money. <laughs> oh, God. More pop-ups. Uh, Excellent reinforcement levies. Ah, we have gained a close friend. In Amir Bashar of Edessa. Excellent. Come on, catch them, catch them. Oh my god, he popped up right as we were hopefully about to catch their army. <laughs> Damn it. 
Oh, God. Okay. Ooh, more money is always good. So we got 500 gold, 150 prestige, more city tax, castle tax, all that stuff, plus two stewardship. Nice. Nice. Yes, we met them in battle. And what is this? Uh, ba -ba -bum. Oh, I threw his... Oh, he wants money. He wants to be rewarded. Well, of course, my son. You did plan this trip, and I am very, very proud of you. I am so glad that I gave you the Barony of Benevento. You are so much better than my other sons. He really is. He's the best of my sons. So, yes, I shall reward him, and that will also counteract that negative that we got with him earlier. Lovely. Now he likes me again. Beautiful. Do I have any titles I could give him? Any minor titles? He deserves them. Ooh, State Inquisitor, Designated Heir. Uh, we'll make him a State Inquisitor. Oh, def so we got a defeat and a victory. Oh. So Constantius went and fought Modena, and he had a defeat. But we had victory. Pause. Oh, Lord, he really hates me. Hmm, maybe I should make you State Inquisitor. <laughs> I'm gonna make you State Inquisitor. Sorry, son! You can become a commander. Yes, yes, there we go. Ooh, he actually is pretty decent in military matters as well. Excellent. Who will like me more? Oh my god, we stomped their military. They don't even exist anymore. Go, Tuscany! <laughs> or actually, wait, looks like their war is done. Huh? Huh. Wow, they are defending against a lot of people. Poor, poor Tuscany, you are, you are screwed. <laughs> well, I tried to help you. All right, well, let's go back to sieging. Oh no, screw it, let's go kill these guys. Well, I will split my forces in twain. Oh, unpause, there we go. I will split my forces, they, he is run, oh no, their armies does still live. How did he get over there? New Pope. Yeah, how do you get over there? Hmm. Oh, well. I'm just going to siege now. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's just split them. And you. You. Oh, God. Okay. Select you. Go to Spoleto. Siege the capital. Oh, poor Tuscany. <laughs> are just, they are just getting rinsed. Hmm. Well, they're on their own. <laughs> oh, look. One child has lack of a focus. Oh, yeah. You're betrothed. Okay, let's give you a good one then. Conscientious, haughty, and fussy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like this one would be the best for you. You're going to get an intrigue education, my dear. There we go, lovely. And back to the sieging. Oh, bless. Are you going to try and take your land back? Because <laughs> we're going to kill you. <laughs> oh, bless. He is. He's trying his damnedest. Kill him. <laughs> we shall fight them again. We shall fight them from whence they are sieging. I don't know what I was trying to say there. <laughs> but we'll have an overwhelming victory. Glorious. A glorious battle. Also, what's this? Your experience in matters of war having... Oh, God. Am I leading the battle? Oh, God. I'm going to die. <laughs> okay. So what do we want to get out of this? Focus on attack. Defense. Learn to inspire. Or tactics. I'm going to go with the Inspire. Oh, God, I am. I'm right there in the center column. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm a 60-year-old man in the center column. Hey, we captured someone, too. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, well, you go back here. Everyone back to Ancona. And <laughs> back to the sieging. Okay, lovely. 86%. We don't need to get that much more before we win. Kaiser Karl the Lude has set up a Pope of Francis as an anti-pope. <gasps> Not an anti-pope. Meh. 
You're on your own. Anti-pope. <laughs> uh, hey, one of our cardinals was given... Oh, two of our cardinals was given a seat on the College of Cardinals. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay. Well, their military is dying slowly but surely. And we are winning our war. And soon... And soon we shall have another lovely county. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, a third one on the College of Cardinals. Good for them. Oh, God, he's just going right back to his... Really, buddy? Really? Are you that freaking stupid that you're going to go back there? I don't even need to send both. I could just send one of my armies and crush you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's... Let's crush him for good. <laughs> also, we have a lack of focus. My cousin... Uh, so she is haughty, fussy, and affectionate. Hmm. Haughty, fussy, and affectionate. None of these are good for her. <laughs> you know, you get a martial education. You have none of these good or bad. R rolling with it. Oh, I hate when that happens. That none of their things that they have done so far mean anything. <laughs> Alright, with this battle, we actually should win the war. There we go, 100%. Booyah. Offer peace. Enforce demands. Mwah. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have grown our kingdom even more. Yes, disband the military. And you all, combine. Stop having me as the commander. <laughs> Oh, I have an action. I could hold it a grand tournament. Meh. Oh, God, we have money now. Let's make sure that we have this campaign funds. Let's put another hundred in. That uh, trading mission was a good thing. A very good thing. <laughs> All right, you head back down here to Amalfi. And let's see here. So we have, we have the county. We have the county. So this would be another good one to give to one of my children, because then we could actually hand over the county. And they would have it as a barony, so it should continue going forward, because we don't control any of the cities. I mean, I could take the cities. I could always usurp those, too. I mean, that's not a problem. So which of my sons is unlanded? You. You're unlanded. And you are my eldest. Perhaps I should give it to you. You already have a barony of your own, though sadly you don't run the whole county, which is unfortunate. Uh, you, you need to be married. You're also unlanded, though. I should do something about that. Uh, yeah, let's just give it to the son. So we will give him the barony of county capital, the barony of Avazano. Uh, da, 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 back to here, back to here. Grant landed title. Oh, see, we, we, we give him the Grand City of that. No? I cannot. I cannot just hand over that barony. The only baronies I can hand over are Castellanata. And Sorrento, or the city of Sousse, which are not what I want. So I would have to actually hand over the grand city, which then means he can't freaking give it to his kid. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. What the hell? Ah. That is the most annoying goddamn thing ever. It sucks, because apparently only if you are the head of a patrician family can you actually then hand down cities to your kids. Other than that, if you give any of your kids a city, they are going to lose that city eventually to a mayoral election. Which is annoying as crap. Damn it. <laughs> God. 
Oh, man. Now I'm way over my demence limit. <laughs> well, two. Can I, uh... Oh, I lost a commander. Uh, who doesn't like me? Who wants a tide? Holy mother of crap, my cousin really doesn't like me. Why don't you like me? Demence too big. Fired from the council. You deserved it. Want seat on the council? No. <laughs> Sire's Republic of Benevento? No. God, I hate you, cousin. Can we kill my cousin? Not really. What's this? You wake up and go to the window and to greet the sun, and then suddenly realize that your castle garden has been neglected for years. Well, we're going to have to do something about that. I'll make sure to make this a real garden with a glorious hedge maze. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, uh, you, you're a more realistic option for giving a title for, you know, extra points. <laughs> Hi, Admiral. Uh, you. There we go. <laughs> oh my god, that annoys me so much. I was hoping since this was a freaking barony that I'd be able to hand it over, but no. But no. Okay, it's hard work to clearing out all the weeds with a huge garden. It will take many days and nights of hard labor to finish the preparatory work before you can even begin to grow the hedge maze. I'll do it myself and we get diligent. Which is nice. That's a lot of points. <laughs> or I'll need to acquire help, which uh, apparently my courtier will help. No. Diligent. There we go. Hard work is always needed to achieve something in life. I've gained the diligent trait. Awesome. So that bumps up all of our perks. Nice. We're doing pretty good for ourselves. Oh, also my spy is still the <gasps> Barbarians. Okay, my spy is over there. I need to move him to start working on gaining a claim on another place. You! Fabricate claim. I want Ancona. Oh, nope, nope. Wrong click. There we go. Good man. Good man. Fabricate a new claim so we can go to war with them again. <laughs> yes. Yes. Also, am I building anything in my place? I am not. I should spend money. Uh, I really should upgrade these, but I always love these more because they add stats and I can always pay for mercenaries <laughs> for, like, all the soldier-y things. Uh, catacombs! One marshal! It's always good. And monthly prestige! Yeah, we're getting catacombs. Nice. Oh my god, we have the least amount of money we've had in a very long time. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps I should give my... Uh, oh no, he already does have that title of that barony, doesn't he? Good, good, good. His cousin is going to, or my cousin rather, is going to take it over on pause. Holy crap. Okay. We are expanding. Beautiful. <gasps> Glorious hedge maze. All right, so I'll add some magnificent statues to the family. We lose money and we get proud. Or I'll add some beautiful statues of religious nature, and it'll make the these guys happy. The shadows are enough decoration in the dead ends. <laughs> now we'll go for... Th oh, God, that put us in negative. How much money are we making right now? Only 26? Why are we losing so much money right now? Oh, God, some of our trade posts are gone down. Oh, yeah, war. War. You bastard. Also, my family is getting bigger, which means more family expenses, which is unfortunate. Ah, we'll go for this one. We're not at war anymore, so we don't have to worry about mercenaries rebelling. And we'll gain that back quick enough. One month, we'll be back in the positive. So I'm not too worried about it. Hmm... Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> so, a fountain. Holy mother of crap. Oh god. Um I'm it's not worth spending money on. No no fountain for you. <laughs> I mean the prestige would be nice, but no fountain for anyone. Oh, that's a lot of money. 
Okay, okay. We are starting to get a big family. Oh, Lord. Look at all these trees. Uh, it's time to fill out the rows of plants. Oh, Lord. The local flora is as beautiful as any, f any other flower can be. We'll go with the local flora. <laughs> Probably get a lot more prestige in the end by uh, importing something, but meh. It should be a proper Italian garden. Oh, and also it is half hour. <laughs> So, we are going to pause the game here. I was not looking at my timer and just glanced over, and it's uh, 30 minutes and 36 seconds now. So, that's going to be it for this episode today. Amalfi has grown. I'm pissed that I can't hand over just the barony of this to my kid. I would have to hand over the whole grand city. Ugh, God, that pisses me off so much. It really, really does, guys. You have no idea. But I actually do have two baronies over here, which I have kind of been keeping hold of. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we hand them over to our kids to get down our <laughs> demence limit because right now we are too over. But that is going to be it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one.